Check right here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I make thumbnails. So, in this video, I'm just going to be doing a basic overview of how I make thumbnails. I'm not going to be going into too many details of like the exact settings I do, but I'll be showing you basically how to do it in this tutorial. So, anyway, guys, let's just get started. So, to start out, what we're going to do is just import our character, whatever we want to make a thumbnail of. I'm going to use Fortnite. If you don't know how to get this, then look at my other videos. And my second video shows you how to do this. So, um, yeah, anyways, guys, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start out just by grabbing my soldier, but you'll notice that when you import it, it's really big, so what you're going to want to do is just press S and point 0.1, and you're going to scale it by point 0.1. I'm actually going to draw my screencast keys right here, so that you guys can see. Okay, so, now, but you'll also notice that some of these bones are facing in weird directions, like, they're facing out on this hand, on, you know, on this hand, so, all you need to do to fix this is go to MISC, reorient bones, reorient directly, then import it, then scale it, and then you'll see that you have the character right here with nice looking bones and in the right size. So I'm just going to get rid of this box and I'm going to get rid of this light and I'm also going to go into cycles render and um, yeah I'm just going to start posing this so I'm going to put this in time lapse and I'll be right back when I'm done. So I have finished posing and texturing her, so now what I'm going to do is just go on to the render portion. So here's going to be kind of a little blender tip if you're using blender. Uh, if you know how, you can use Source Filmmaker, anything like that. Uh, this is just a basic tutorial, so yeah. So here's what I use for rendering. I turn the resolution to 100%, change my file directory to wherever I want it, you know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll just put it in here. So, um, yeah, anyways, so resolution 100%, file directory, PNG compression at 100%, sampling at 500 and we're going to go to film transparent and then we're going to go to the scene tab or no render layers tab press denoising put the strength to one and down in the tie line we're going to change the start and end to one and just going to finish with this text there we go, perfect. So, um, yeah, guys. Anyway, now what I'm gonna do is file save and I'm just gonna give it a name. Okay, so uh, now what we're gonna do is what I like to do for rendering is build it in Blender 2.79. You don't have to do this, but here's just just just, just, just hear me out. Uh, so what I like to do is just build it in 
then hop into Blender 2.8. The reason I don't build it in Blender 2.8 is because um, it's kind of buggy because it's not on the official release yet. And so I can, the textures get messed up sometimes. So what I do is I build it in 2.79, then just open it up in 2.78, then render it in uh, 2.78, and then that's how I just get my render. So I'll be right back when this finishes. All right, guys, so the render has finished, and it looks like this. As you can see, we got some weird spots over here where the material kind of, where I didn't apply the material quite right, but uh, that's okay. So what we're going to do is just go into Photoshop, and as you can see here, I've already got a background set out, so what we're going to do is just drag in our render, and as you can see, it's kind of dark, it's not looking it's not looking awesome, so obviously, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use GIMP or whatever, but it's... Uh, if you do have Photoshop, that'd be the tool to use. All right, so I'm just gonna get rid of these little spots where I messed up on the material, so I'm just gonna put this in time lapse one more time while I do that. So yeah, guys, as you can see, now the little marks are gone. If, uh, if I was doing this like as an actual thumbnail, of course, I'd smooth them out a lot more. But anyway, so a nice thing I like to do is I'm just gonna turn up the brightness on this, and I'm gonna turn up the contrast by a lot. I think it makes makes it look really good. And then on the background, I'm just going to go to filter, blur, and radial blur is what I like to do, and set it to 30, zoom and best, then just press OK. And then you have this nice effect, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to say layer, or no, I'm gonna go back to my background, image adjustments, brightness, this is contrast. I'm gonna turn the brightness a little bit down. And then on my character, I'm gonna go to layer, layer style, uh, outer glow, and 20, what about 30 on the opacity, and the size will be like 80. So now we have this nice glowing effect. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it of how I make Fortnite thumbnails. Um, so, I hope you liked the video, if you did, subscribe, and, um, have a good one.